All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dina202 mod along with the Invisible Herald Cape mod, which will allow you to see the whole of the character while you're running around inside of the game. So what we're going to need to download today is the main Dina202 mod, and you have three options here for this mod. You have the basic color, the camo color, and the red color. I'll grab the red color. I tested out the camo color, but the red might be more dramatic. So we'll go ahead and download that. I'll hit the manual download. And it does remind us that we need to have the Helldivers 2 mod manager. So I'll save this here. And don't just download all three of these versions and install them. They're all trying to replace the DP00 tactical armor. And if you try to replace them with three files at once, it's going to cause an error and crash your game. So only pick one of these colors. After that, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna grab the mod manager, which is what's going to allow us to actually mod the game. I'm gonna hit manual and slow download. And here we're going to download this to the mod manager folder, just to keep things organized. And then I will download the invisible Herald Cape mod which will allow us to hide our cape so that we can see all of our new character. And I'll put that in the mods folder as well. So while those are finishing downloading, I'm going to set up the mod manager. And the mod manager I'm going to extract to a folder of the same name, it comes in a zip file, just so that I know what version it is, because it's a good idea if you mod Helldivers 2 a lot to keep the most recent version of the mod manager to prevent errors. And this gets updated whenever Helldivers 2 receives a major update. So if we double click this, the Helldivers 2 mod manager is inside and you can double click on that and hit run. And this one, that will pop open a little window and this is your mod manager. From here, we need to tell it where Helldivers 2 is located because you can put the mod manager anywhere on your computer. It doesn't matter as long as you tell it where Helldivers is hiding. So inside of settings, in the game directory, we'll hit the three little dots, and this is where we will search for Helldivers 2. Now the easiest way to find Helldivers is to open up Steam, find your Helldivers 2 install, right click it, go to manage, and browse local files. This will open up a window that tells you exactly where it's located. You can click here at the top, copy that, close this window, close Steam, and paste it, at the top of the search window, and then boom, there's Helldivers 2, then you can hit select folder. So now that's set up here at the top, it tells you exactly where your Helldivers 2 is, you can hit OK, and now we can start adding the mods. So to add the mods, you just hit the big add button in the upper left corner, go to your folder where you've got it all saved, and I'm going to start with the No Herald Cape mod, hit open, and then I'm also going to add the Dina one as well, the Dina red, and then I'm gonna click deploy. Once you click deploy, it's going to load those mods into your Helldivers 2 game files so that they're active when you launch the game. And from there, you can hit launch Helldivers 2, this button here, or in Steam, it's the same button. They just added a convenient launch button here in the mod manager just for the sake of convenience. All right, so once you're inside the game itself, there's a couple things to note. One of the things is, depending on what armor replacement mod you're using, a lot of them prefer it when you're using a female character or creating a female character model to use the lean model, which is supposed to be the more female body frame, and then that will change it to being a completely different armor set than previously. Because even though, like in the default game, these two armors look only slightly different when you toggle between them, they are a completely different model, especially when you're modding. So I'm gonna to switch to the lean body type just to be sure. And then here under armory, we are looking for, uh, let's start with the helmet actually. We're looking for the, oh, here it is right here, the DP00 tactical. So we'll equip that. And then here you can see our Dina202 character with just like a visor breathing apparatus instead of like a full helmet, so her head's exposed. And then here under armor, 
the DP-00 is like that free armor that you got for Liberation Day, and you can grab it here and equip it. And then here's our character. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our capes and equip the default Herald cape, because this one is invisible. And then boom, there is our Dina-202 character. We can go liberate planets in absolute style. And then anybody who's got the same armor set that we do will have the same look. This is a client side only thing, so only we'll really be able to see this. Or if your friends have this mod installed as well. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been the Dina202 mod setup guide. I hope you found this helpful. The links are in the video description for this mod, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.